A recent study by the University of New South Wales found creatine had no significant difference on muscle growth, but that's pretty contradictory to a ton of other studies, so how did they come to this result? Well, when we dive into the mechanics of how creatine actually works, it's pretty self-explanatory. Creatine draws water into your muscles, and once saturated, it provides extra energy for type 2 muscle fibers, which typically fatigue quickly due to their explosive nature. That extra energy basically just lets you squeeze out a few more reps right where you would have normally hit failure. It is only useful if the stimulus is intense enough that those extra reps actually make a difference. In other words, it's a performance enhancing supplement, it's not a magic muscle making pill, but we already knew that. It doesn't directly build muscle, it just helps you train harder, recover faster, and push closer to failure, and that's what builds muscle. But this doesn't exactly explain their results. I need to emphasize that this study included untrained lifters. Participants were supposed to be training with a perceived rate of exertion of 9, which equates to 1 rep in reserve. However, untrained lifters are notoriously bad at judging what true muscle failure feels like. Studies show that beginners often overreport their rate of exertion by several orders of magnitude, simply because they're uncomfortable, they aren't bracing properly, or they're just mentally tired. They're not actually near muscle failure. When we take a look at their program, these participants were doing four sets of 12 reps with only two minutes of rest. They weren't training anywhere near hard enough for creatine to actually take effect. And here's the thing, unless you're taking anabolic steroids, no supplement is gonna help you make gains if you don't actually know how to train properly, especially creatine. Oh, and one more thing, they didn't even supervise the participants taking the supplement. There is a chance they weren't taking the creatine.